Okay, we got quite the uh, challenge here. So this is a factory paint job from Harley Davidson 2002 limited edition they actually wanted me to paint another tank to match this paint job but uh, we haven't gotten the okay I mentioned uh, I'd rather just fix this one we got this den on the side which I just started beating out from the inside they took the injection pump out so that helps and there's a little bit of damage on this side too and I'd rather just do this tank so we'll see how it goes if they give me the okay we're gonna dive in uh, beat this out, coat it. We're going to have to figure out how we're going to do the lettering. This was all hand lettered. It looks like the gold flame job was also lettered. So we'll see how it goes. I'll be taking uh, video segments along the way. And hopefully it comes out good. It's a picky customer, so it better come out good. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I had the tank all repaired. I got it all prepped. Uh, 600 and 1000 grit. Dent is all repaired and sanded and everything. So, here's the plan of attack here. Uh, there's a lot going on. First things first, what I'm going to do is this area right here. This is all black. Actually, it's a black pearl. I'll show you a little bit. This is 320 uh, cleaner. You can see that over the black. So, I'm going to spray black. Silver metallic, mix some candy tangerine, and dust a coat over that. That should take care of that. So I got a little spot over here when I beat out the uh, den over here. I got the, I put a couple chips in it. So I'm gonna do this little oval area right here. As you can see, the rest of this is the orange and shading and pinstriping and lettering. So I just need to take care of this area and this area up by the fuel injection hole. So what I'm going to do is leave this, I'm going to tape this up a little bit loose and down here too. And then I'll throw a little bit of paper both ways and I'll dust some black around this area. I may even dust a little bit on the primer area, but not much. I'll probably wait to do that until I get this flame job laid out. So I'll do this black area. I'll put the silver flake, a uh, little candy tangerine. I'm using KK. Mix it with base clear, the medallion MHT500, I believe is the part number. And once I get that done, I'll let it dry for about a half hour and then I will mask off this flame job. Luckily, I got most of the tips left. I'm, I can use the other side as a reference. There's only a small spot on the other side. So I will do the orange flame job. Uh, the step after, once I get this masked up, the flame job, I'll spray them red. And like on previous videos on how to do the outline first, I will outline it to save a portion of the red, and then I'll spray orange. So then I will add, if you look real close, there's also another eighth inch outline. So I'll have to double outline this. That will preserve the orange. So the first outline, I save the red. Once I spray the orange, I add another outline that will save an outline of orange, and then I'll do an airbrush shading around there. So it's not going to be too bad. So then I'll probably go ahead and clear coat it, re-sand it, and then I'll do the gold flame job. I wanna preserve all this work that I'm doing because if I get any gold blow through or anything on that, on the flame job, uh, it's going to screw everything up. So I'll just go ahead and clear coat it. A couple coats of clear, re-sand it. Any mishaps I can easily take care of. So also, I don't know what color this is. This is a numbered set from 2002, I believe. So the color on it is very close. The orange is very close to my Suburban color. 2017 Dodge Copperhead. So as you can see above, that's the color of my Suburban. It's very close to it. I looked at it out in the sun too. I also compared it. Uh, I poured some cleaner over here and then I dipped my stick in an extra pint that I got of that color and it's very, very close, at least tenable. So anyway, that's the plan of attack I plan on taking. 
So I will go ahead and spray the black with the tangerine over it and then I will uh, spot in this area or I'll mask up the flames and then I will report back. I'll show you how that is coming along. As you can see, I got this black area all spotted in. So basically I did the black, the silver metallic, and the candy over. I ended up putting a little bit of pagan gold in there to make it more of a orange peachish color, candy color. So for you guys that want a badass color or your customers wants one that wants a black out of the sun and a nice candy color in the sun, that's how you achieve that. Never spray solid candy or a candy over the solid black. It really achieves nothing. So you gotta have that uh, coat of metallic sandwiched in between. BCO2, the Orion works great for that because it's kind of a bigger metallic. And uh, it looks great out of the sun. Like I said, it looks like a solid black out of the sun. So, and always be sure and do a test panel, which I did here. I wanted to make sure I got the color very close before I actually attempted to doing this. So you can see how I had this taped off. I, I forgot to video this, so I already pulled this paper off, but you can see where it was. So I wanted to save that lick right there because all I'm concerned about is that oval right there. So you can see I had this masked up up here. No sense in adding uh, metallic and candy above that stripe because there's no damage there. So this one, I'm gonna pull this off. Same with this here. So I got this to work with. There's absolutely zero edge on there, so I have no issue with that. Uh, if I do, you just simply sand down that area. But I do that after I mask up the flames for the orange flame job. So also to note, that little spot that I had up here, uh, see that piece of paper there? I told you I sprayed uh, silver metallic over the black. If I didn't have this piece of paper, those silver flakes would end up on the side over here. And obviously, I'm not spraying the candy that far. So you'd, you'd end up with the silver sparkle on the other side, and you'd have candy tangerine on this side. So you don't want to do that. So you got to keep that area contained. You see those scratches in there? No worry with that. A dark color like this, you'll never see those. So it's just because it's a real thin coat of black and the candy on there. So that will be fine. So next step, I'm going to be uh, masking off these flames. And I will take a video of that. And also to note, uh, the candy that I put on here is candy tangerine. If you use a candy cobalt blue or a candy red, sometimes those are bleed colors, especially house of color, because they are actually dyes and not toners. So they will bleed through. So if you went ahead, masked this off, and did the orange here, and let's say that was candy blue, so you probably never see that, but the candy blue would actually bleed through here. So no problem with the candy tangerine. So you always gotta keep in mind what candy you spray before going on to the next step. So, and same with this gold flame pinstripe that I gotta, I gotta do here. So if I did this before clearing, uh, the candy would bleed through and we don't want that. So again, candy tangerine would not do that. Just candy blues, candy purple, uh, some of them are bleed colors, so make note of that. So you might want to do a test panel to spray uh, a silver over a candy color and see if it bleeds. The silver would actually turn, uh, like in, if you use a candy cobalt blue, of course it turned to a light blue. So, but I'll be clear coating this first anyway before doing the gold job and candy tangerine has no problem of bleeding. So we're fine on either issue. So uh, next step. And I'll check back. Thanks for watching. I have the red all done. This will eventually be the outline. Uh, one thing I noticed on this paint job, if you look real close, this red is actually brighter than some of the red outlines around here. So I think that's due to the fact that they took some of the shadowing. When they did the shadowing, they got a little bit of black on top of the red. So when it was very thin. So again, what I'm going to be doing is outlining this in either 16th or 8th inch. So it's pretty inconsistent. These stripes were factory from uh, uh, factory hand striped. 
So you can see how I followed the outline with the red. I kind of turned the nozzle down. So it comes around here, back up, and then down here it follows, comes around, and then it comes back over here, and then we'll have a tip right there. So the other side, not as complicated, but it is complicated. So there's uh, there's a lot going in on this side too. If you notice, I used different areas to cut off. There's actually a flame right there because I know I'm not gonna get that far. I don't want the overspray going that far. So same up here. I used that to cut off so I can keep this area all contained. So I'll be doing the orange, the shadowing, and then clear coating. And if you look real close on this paint job, this is a factory Harley numbered set, you can see little black dots in there. Make note of that if you have to take pictures so you don't get the uh, blame for that. So be, those are not for me, they're on the other side too. Those are underneath the clear coat. So it's looking good. So I'm gonna outline this and I'll do the orange. I'll have to do a test panel on that too. Like I said, I'm gonna be using the Copperhead uh, 2017 Dodge color. And uh, do a test panel and see how close it is. I'll tint that and uh, spray that on there. Got my outline all done. I went over the red. I put some insurance tape on the areas that I did not want any blow through. And the ones where I'm actually spraying the orange, I left wide open. So you can see here, I went made it a little wider. This pinstripe is very inconsistent. Even on this side, I went from a eighth inch and I switched it over under this gold stripe to 16th, so 16th to 8th inch. So, and I told you I'd do a test panel using the copper head, and this is extremely close, so I'm going with it, especially with all the shading and all the uh, screw-ups they got in the factory base coat, all the black specs. So, I'm going to go with it. I think it'll look good. So, I'm going to do the uh, orange, and then i got to re-outline it to keep this right there that line and then I'll do some airbrush shadowing around there and put some various shading like this area right here and that should do it then I'll pull the paper off clear coat it and then tomorrow the next day we'll resand it do the gold flame job so till then uh, I may take a video once I get all the paper pulled so or after it's cleared so till then Got it all cleared. This is how it came out. I think it came out real good. Still got the gold stripes to do. I'll re like I said before, I'll resand these and that clear will be used to uh, protect the previous work. The gold's going to be quite the challenge. Obviously, that was hand striped when it was first done. But so far, I think it's coming out real good. So, and I also killed the rest of the lettering because I'm not for sure if I'm going to uh, have a stencil made and I spray that or I'm gonna have that hand lettered. So we'll see how it comes out. So getting close, uh, once I get it completely done, I'll do one more segment and uh, hopefully the customers could be real happy. So again, this was supposed to be a, I was supposed to paint a brand new tank. I got authorization to just repair this one. So I think it's coming out real good. Customers should be happy. Got the pinstripe flames all laid out. So I'm in the process of taping and masking them up. I haven't done the other side yet. I got to use that side to uh, match the gold too. So I wanted to do that first. So a couple things I wanted to point out. You can see on the tip here, I actually took some quarter inch and eighth inch and put it on the table here and cut my points there and then transferred them over here. That way I'm not cutting into the fresh paint which I did uh, the base yesterday in the clear, so it's still just a tad bit soft. Good enough to work with, though. So I still got to match this up. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is, since these were uh, from the factory hand pinstripes, you can see how the ends are squared off, so I also did that. They aren't points as if uh, you did a normal flame job and you laid them out, so I wanted to square these off, make it look like these were hand striped. And the other side was also inconsistent, uh, 16th inch and 8th inch. Uh, 
if I had to do this complete tank or this paint job over on as a fresh paint job and not have it to blend in, I would probably, since I don't hand pinstripe, do the gold pinstripes first. So you can see on my other videos how to uh, do the pinstriped outline first. I basically would spray this tank first, gold, and then I would just add uh, probably eighth inch and it would be more consistent because I'm using the tape to actually make the eighth inch pinstripe. And then I do the rest of the flames and the base, the darker base, work around that. So that way at the end of the paint job, you pull the eighth inch off and presto, you got some uh, nice gold pinstripes down there. You still gotta watch the uh, thickness of your paint, but overall that would be a good choice to do. So either way, it's still, a complicated paint job but uh, I think it's gonna come out good so I still got some little touch-ups to do on the outlines and just to make sure you know they come out real nice so anyway wanted to give you guys an update I will check back soon after it's clear coated Got this tank all final cleared. I think it came out very, very good. This is the side that had the dent in it. See how slick it is. This was the side all we did was just spot. I think the customer is going to be extremely happy with this, how it came out. For one, it's going to be cheaper because he didn't have to buy a tank, which probably runs a thousand bucks. And we did get the tank in. I just decided not to do it and they okayed it that all I had to do was just fix this tank. And because he gets to keep his original Harley logo, showing that's a numbered set. This is 26 of 200 sets. So I think it came out very good. I'm sure they'll be happy. Uh, hopefully you learned something from this video. It was a very involved job, even for me, probably the most involved job I've done this year. So I uh, appreciate it if you guys can, uh, if you subscribe, thumbs up. Again, thanks for watching. Till next video, see you.